Hello guys, we're back for another test. Oh, I can see Harold back there. There he is. Um, today we're going to try uh, Krylon. This is their latest foil metallic. And, as said, true metal-like finish. So maybe we're finally going to get the, the coating that I'm looking for, you know? No way it's going to look that good. But True metal-like finish. This is copper. And this is gold. I wanted more to choose from. This is all they had. But I'm hoping it's good. It's a skinnier can. There was $6.99, I think. And um, used a coupon on one, so 40% off. Pretty cheap. Hopefully it works, because it's pretty damn cheap. Um, anyway, we're going to test this over a spoon. It says... Um, it doesn't matter the surface. I mean, I might go over uh, bare plastic. Maybe we'll try it over primer. I'll try it. We're just going to pick the best one out. And uh, no more spoons for this test. No more spoons. Soup spoons. No, just kidding. We got soup spoons. That's what they had in stock. But these are a little wider. Maybe I can get a better look at what we're going to do here. But anyway, we head over to the booth. We're going to see how this stuff works. Um, it just says shake for a minute. No, shake one to two minutes. During use, test spray. And again, it's eight inches. And it's all the same. Uh, dries uh, in 15 minutes or less. You can handle it in two hours. And we can recoat it any time, which is good. So we can go over it to make it thicker. But uh, I'm hoping it performs well. I just want it to look somewhat like this, you know. And uh, here's the hoping it does. We're going to find out in two seconds. Let's go to the booth. All right, guys, we are at the booth. It says shake it for two minutes, and uh, that's a long time. Uh, so, and then it says shake while you're doing it, which means it probably separates pretty easily. Um, let's go ahead and uh, test this out. The nozzle's a little different, see it? Which means it's probably a, a thick, um, a thick fluid, and it needed a different type of nozzle to uh, get it through. But let's see what we got. Set to build it up and let it. Uh, oh, it goes on nice. Let it. Uh, I should have dried it with the airbrush. Let it dry quick. Let's go again. I'm trying to come in from a different angle here. Wow, hey, I think they're on to something here. This looks good. I think I like it. Wow, we'll let that dry. Let's try it over. A, this is a spoon with primer on it. So let's see if it uh, goes over that well. It says light coat, so this stuff is heavy. I, I like to get the last coat in on it, on a, so it looks kind of wet. There it is. Wow! I think we're on to something here, guys. I think this is uh, good stuff, particularly for the money. So, that's a primer one. The other one's a bare spoon. Wow, that's terrific. All right. I don't even have to put this next to it, because I know what the gold is, and I know what the copper is. All right? Let me shake this up, guys. I'm going to pause it so it doesn't annoy you, and uh, we'll see what this looks like going on. All right, guys. Shake it up. Quite a, quite a bit. I know it's annoying on the camera, so and the problem is they want you to shake it while you're doing it, but uh, I'm only doing a tiny spoon, so it's not the biggest project in the world. Let's see how this stuff goes on. That oh man, another nice color. Wow, I stumbled onto something good here, guys. Hopefully it's durable. But not gonna, this stuff takes a, like a week to really harden. I'm gonna have to let it harden for a while, you know. I mean, oh man, I hope it dries like this. This is terrific stuff. Look at that. Wow, we're going to have to check it out, guys, under the, the lights. Uh, for the hell of it, let's try this one over a, a dark, this is a, gr a light gray primer. That's it. Not bad, huh? I'm going to try to put it on heavy. Ah, it looks like it does better over the plastic. For sure. See, it's got the speckles. Probably doesn't like whatever primer we used. But, uh, 
All I know is the other one is perfect. Let me see. Yeah, I can see it from here. It's perfect. But you know what? This could dry good. It says you can put multiple coats. So let's see if I let this dry um, in between now and on the bench. Um, I'll test it and I'll let it dry for a few minutes. All right, guys. We'll see you back at the bench. But so far, I think I'm liking it, particularly at the price point. Um, all right. We'll see you back at the bench. All right, guys, we are back with the test and uh, really good results. Um, th this one didn't like the primer, but let's go over what uh, it was probably my fault, whatever primer it was that I used. But let's look at the basic, the basic uh, color itself that works. All right, here's the copper, and that's over bare plastic. It seems to like bare plastic, but look, look at this out of a can. Uh, it's pretty nice, man. I mean, for for six ninety nine with the coupon, it's probably four change, and it's a good size can. Uh, I like it. It went on good. It seems to level off the longer it let it sit, so it's got to fully, you know, evaporate out and level. It did not like the the primer. Can you see the pits? It's probably my fault. I grabbed it. It's probably had oils on it. It's probably an acrylic. Or an enamel primer, or whatever the whatever this thing didn't like, it's probably I just grabbed the spoon and threw it on the primer. Obviously, it doesn't matter. It doesn't need it. You don't need it. This is over plastic. It bind it bound to the plastic perfectly. So I say don't even bother with it. Even though this one worked on the primer, I probably grabbed this was over white primer, and I think that's one of my Krylon. I mean, my Rust-Oleum. You see me in my video. I showed you the white can of white primer that they sell. It's probably worked hand in hand. That's the difference I'm seeing. So don't bother with the primer anyway, because even this, there's no real difference. But anyway, this is the foil metallic gold. And look at that. It's not all clad level, like ultra buffy shiny. We're going to go over that right now. Buff up. Um, with the coupon uh, for change. I mean, come on. Particularly maybe if it's, if it's durable, like it should be. It's Krylon. It'll be, it'll be good for an inner frame, and you're only going to see little bits anyway. This is all clad. It's the closest I can get because I don't have uh, full gold uh, all clad yet. It's on the way. This is gold titanium, but you can see it has that metal shine you get. You know, it's a whole different look. Let's match it up with the spoon. This is over primer, but there's no difference. So you get that. You almost got that same shine. I wish I had gold to compare it to. Now, this is pale gold from all clad over black. Now, there's the, you can see the gold tone, but not quite that shine, which this has, but this is pale gold. That's why I'm trying to get the gold. It's hard. It's hard for me to get a bottle of that straight gold from All Clad, but I think I found one. I had one ordered, you know. But out of a can, a spray can, come on, guys. This is this is good stuff. Uh, again, I think this this is over white primer, and I think it was the spray can primer that uh, I have from Rust-Oleum. That's why this, this probably went over uh, AK spray paint that I have primer so don't even use this as a judgment just get that out of here it doesn't matter anyway because look how good it comes out All right anyway let's compare it to Tamiya's $20 jar uh, can of spray paint this is Tamiya's regular $7 can of gold oh well, there's no difference this is just a matte gold and this is it is called foil so it's gonna have that shine so that's that and this is the $20 $20 I even put so I know right off the bat it's the $20 can TS84 gold again this is that more of that matte true uh, all clad level see all clad it's got that kind of shine that dull satiny look this is more of a shine because it, it is marketed as foil so you're going to get that and this is the $20 can of gold and I put this over a TS40 to my base not much of a difference but look at that Huh? So at uh, four dollars, just about five bucks with tax, a can for that size. By the way, let's compare sizes here. Hold on. There you go. Seven bucks. No. This is retail for seven. This is about four change with the coupon. This is the twenty dollar one, and it's about half gone. Testing these spoons. <laughs> what I do for you guys, huh? But anyway, that's enough. We get the point. I, I've this stuff is terrific. Let's get this out of here. This twenty dollars stuff. I got bought half a case of this stuff for twenty bucks. 
Now I'm hoping they have other colors. I'm gonna look for silver and maybe uh, a brass. I'm hoping they got brass. I'm gonna look it up tonight and see what other colors they have because I'm gonna grab them and test them for you guys. But uh, let's get the two new soup spoons. How impressive, guys. How impressive. Go grab a can now. I got this at uh, Hobby Lobby. I didn't even see this anywhere. I've been to a lot of uh, hardware stores lately looking for paints for you guys. And um, no, I found them at... Well, it doesn't quite match the cap now that I look at it. But I found this at uh, Hobby Lobby. You know, I think I like this color better anyway. It actually came out copper. The lid isn't... That's not really copper. This is copper. Thank God it sprayed how it's supposed to look. Anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, I big thumbs up here. Oh, my finger's cut. Look at that. Uh, big thumbs up for uh, results. I finally got the results I was looking for out of a can, and it turned out to be this Krylon foil. You know, and I think the, when I saw the lid that says tr true metal like finish, I knew this is what I was looking for. Uh, anyway, go grab yourselves a can, guys. Let me know if you try it uh, in the comments below. Uh, please like. Please subscribe. The channel is growing, which has enabled me to uh, do more tests for you guys, and I have a ton more to go. And uh, thank you guys so much. It's been great um, hearing from you guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. I'm going to try and keep up and do a couple videos a week so uh, as to keep up as I have tons of paints to test and uh, more to come. We'll see you midweek. Have a great day, guys.